Welcome, welcome to the Empowerment Center here in Gaston, amen, where we launch leaders. And I'm Keith Williams, one of the pastor here, amen. And we're going to be talking about tonight operating out of a victorious mindset. I said operating out of a victorious mindset. So let us pray. Father, we bless you. We honor you tonight, God. We thank you for all the blessings of the day, all the mercy and grace that you gave to us, oh God. And God, we come, God, decrease, oh God, and you speak through us, oh God. We acknowledge before we go forward that it is the Holy Spirit that is the teacher, oh God. You get the glory. You get the praise, oh God, and you be exalted as you help transform our mindset, oh God. In the mighty name of Yahshua Hamashiach, we pray. Amen. 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 Well, welcome, welcome, welcome again. Amen. And we're going to be talking about operating out a victorious mindset because we're in a time that your mind must be victorious. You must have the mind of a winner, not a mind of doubt, not a mind of a victim, not a mind of, of one that's going to lose because you serve a God that's already can never lose. You are a winner. I can't encourage you enough to let you know that you are a winner. But that is a mindset that has to be taken on. Amen. And the enemy wants to come in and distort your mind. Amen. He want to take your thought process. Amen. And he want to make you doubt. Amen. But I come to tell you that Jesus came that you may have a great mind. Amen. Uh, in, in, in our Philippians uh, 2 and 5 said, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. Jesus had a victorious mind. I mean, look at Jesus. He walked into the desert. He, you know, he had a weak point. You know, the devil come to, t the, uh, to tempt him and everything. But he said, hey, we don't bow down to nothing. You know, we must, uh, every word that's written. See, he followed the Father. Amen. He said, when he came, he said, I didn't come to do my will. I came to do the will of the Father that sent me. See, everything about Jesus was always winning. Even when he stepped on the scene in Matthew 4 and 17 and said, repent, he was talking about change your mindset. Change your thinking. I'm bringing you a new way of thinking, amen. See, and I'm here today because of Christ's mindset. Amen. Can I, can I, can I, can I be a little, little loose and a little vulnerable? Because at one time I had a terrible mind. Come on, let me talk about it, amen. And my mind was in the world. My mind was in the streets, amen. And my thoughts was not right. But when I got Jesus, good God Almighty, what a life change. What a transformation, amen. Now, I'm excited. I'm going to try to calm down, amen. But I'm excited. Why? Because God has said to give me victory right now. I mean, he's moving in my life right now, amen. And I have a great opportunity to teach other men how to transform their life by their mindset, amen. Okay, um, so let's look at this. All right. The second scripture I want to give you is Romans 8 and 28. It said, and we know that all things work together for God, for the good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. That's a mic drop right there. That should put your mind right in order. Because everything that happened in your life is working in a plan. It's going to work for your good. I never thought my life on the streets, my life in addiction, my life uh, doing everything against God's will will work for me. How is that? Well, a couple of weeks ago, I got promoted. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got hired. Amen. I got hired by CJC, a Christian job corps. <laughs> amen. And they said they want me to teach their minions. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. They looked at my curriculum that I wrote and said, teach it. Same thing that I've been ministering into, in jails and different places. Now I'm teaching other men. Why? Because God had already had the plan. He, he was working that for me, even though I didn't know it was working. So take the sweat off your brain tonight and know that God is working it out for you. Yeah, yeah, take the sweat off your brain, amen. See, God wants to work in your life so you look victorious. See, I don't look like the smoke I came out of. You probably didn't even know I smoked. <laughs> I don't look nothing like it, amen. But God wants you to win. You got to get that. Now, okay. This you don't want to miss. If, if you can't remember nothing I say tonight, this first principle that I'm about to teach you, you need to get. And this is what it says. Your mindset 
will determine how you win or lose the battle of life. Let me say that again. Your mindset determines how you win or lose the battle of life. It's your mind. It's how you think. What is mindset? It's the way we see and handle things. See, that determines whether you're going to win or lose. A lot of people, I, I got this problem now. You know, you got a mind problem. <laughs> you think it's one thing, but it's, it's the way you respond. I always use two words, uh, respond and react. They both start with R, but they both have different outcomes. See, because when you respond, you think about it. You count the cost. But when you react, you just react. See, how you think is going to determine how you live. You are today what you thought yesterday. You're going to be tomorrow what you're thinking right now. Dog rock. <laughs> when he taught me this principle, when I first joined his ministry, he said, Key, he said, you're going to look like your decision. I had no idea what he was talking about. But what he was saying, your mindset is going to determine how you live, whether you achieve or if you don't, whether you go forward or go backwards. Amen. Whether, whether you get over something or not. Because a lot of mental health is based on unforgiveness because you just won't let it go. But it's in your mind. You know, I tell people all the time that's dealing with unforgiveness, you're like this right here. I say, when you deal with unforgiveness, it's like taking cyanide, expecting somebody else to die. It ain't going to happen. You're going to suffer because it's your mind. I'll try to help you out. Amen. Because <laughs> the word of God says in Proverbs 23 and 7, for as he thinks in his heart, so is he. It's your thinking. And you got to get your mind right. Now, like, in the beginning was the word. And the word was Christ. Amen? So, if you be in the word, you're in Christ. You're a new creation. You're in the word. Your mind going to change. You got to get in the word. It ain't going to be a touch. <laughs> it's going to be what you put in your mind. Amen? Me and, me, me and Miss Williams, we may have... Uh, love discussions. <laughs> I call them love discussions. But I got to remember that the word said she's my good thing. And he that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtain favor from the Lord. So I can't let my mind snap and go crazy. See, because when people mind snap, they just forgot that they was part of the word. <laughs> That's what happened. That's how it worked. Amen. But God wants you to get a victorious mindset. Amen. Now, we're going to talk about two uh, types of mindset, amen. And the first uh, mindset is the victim mindset. Warning, 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 you don't want the victim mindset. When you think of a victim, a victim always gets the worst end of any situation. Well, a murder victim, a bruiser victim, Drug addict, victim, whatever victim, they get the worst. You don't want to be the victim. So, therefore, you don't want to have a mindset of a victim. You don't want to be the person to say that if anything go wrong, it's going to go wrong in my life. If anybody's going to lose, it's going to be me. I ain't going to get to bless, mama. They ain't going to bless me. Everybody in the church is going to get blessed except for me. That's a victim mindset. Yeah, yeah, nothing good is going to happen to me or my family. Victim. Nobody don't love me, victim. Nobody want to help me out, victim. You got to change your mindset and not think like the victim. You are called to be a winner. Yeah, you're a winner. He king of kings, lord of lords. Who the other kings? We are. But if you don't think like that, now you're looking at a person that was strung out. Lost my mind at one time. See, if you ain't never lost your mind, this may, may be a little different for you. But lose your mind for real. Walk around and don't know that you that you on the earth spinning around uh, 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 on the earth spinning around the sun in the midst of the universe. Forget that you're on, on the earth and think there's nobody there but you. You you can't you look in the mirror and don't recognize the person in the mirror because you lost your mind. And then when God refresh you and give your body back, you'll be like, oh, my God, he good. <laughs> Taste and see. 
See, that's what Doc talking to you on the new series, get hungry. See, I'm hungry. I'm hungry for a new mindset. I'm hungry for a victorious mindset because I, pl I plan on winning. Yeah. Oh, no, I had some losses, but I ain't trying to get no losses, Renzo. I, I'm, trying, I'm trying to get some winning going on, amen. Yeah. And I want to help other men's win. Yeah. And yeah. men's and women's, amen. Yeah. Whoever God... Uh, 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 Stacy called me smiling because you come around me, you will smile. Because I'm a joyful person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I know I sometimes drive Miss William crazy because I'm always, hey. <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when you come out of depression, right. now let me talk to you for a minute to help you get your mind right. See, when God delivered you out of something, when He removed that hurt and He removed that pain, amen. He take you through, and he show you, hey, I'm God. I still got you. Yes. I'm good. I got you. Don't worry about it. I got a plan that's going to work out for you. Then you'll say, okay, God, I realize that you're in control of this because you know the plans. You know the thought. You know my purpose before I was even birthed out of my mama's womb. You already had the plan. So let me just celebrate what you're about to do. <laughs> good God of my. <laughs> Celebrating it, amen. But the mindset of a victim is nothing, nothing new. This was happening back in biblical time. If you were look at Numbers uh, 13 and 33, it should be on, on your handout. This is what it said. And there we saw the giants, the son of the Anax, which came of the giants. And we were in our own sight, listen to this, we were in our own sight as grasshoppers. And so we were in their sight. Now this is, you know, God had delivered the people, told them to go look at the land that he gave them. Stop. Go look at the land that I gave you. Now you'd have seen the miracles. You'd have seen me what I did to Pharaoh. You see me uh, 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 do all kinds of signs and wonders. And we ain't no different. You'd have seen God work in your life before. Why you think he won't now? See, because you'd have seen them work before. You didn't know how you were going to get out of it, but some kind of way he got you out. You got to remind your mind that God will get me out of the situation. Because he said his word, and he delivered them out of all. He said all. Now, see, okay, we said some. But he said all. So my mind must go back that God's going to bring me out, no matter what I'm going through, because he's a delivering God. But we find them here. And God had told him, go see the land. Sending you this story about he sent out the 12 spies. And 10 of them, they saw the land, but they came back with a bad report. Oh, yeah. It's just like God said. Grapes and honey. It's good over there. Man, it's good. It's fruitful. Everything right. It's the one problem. What? We grasshoppers. We grasshoppers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw the annex. We saw the giants, the descendants of the giants, and they saw us, and, 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 and we was grasshoppers in their eyesight. You ain't even talk to them. You ain't had a conversation, but you determined in your mind that you was a grasshopper. Wake up, grasshopper. <laughs> know that you're a giant, because you're not a grasshopper. But if you think you're a grasshopper, you'll become. Yeah, yeah, you become what you think. That's why you got to get a victorious mindset. To know that you're not a grasshopper. No matter how, how. But then, but it's some good news. Tell your neighbor, it's some good news. Because in Numbers 13 and 30, it says, And Cable still the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are able to overcome it. See, only two. So you don't find too many people on this road. Yeah, that's a very few friends. What you talking about? Oh, no, I can't, I, can't, I can't run with you. I'm trying to win. You're trying to lose. <laughs> where, where the winners at? Right. Yeah, the doctors teach us back in the day, we go with the goers. <laughs> yeah, we go with the winners, amen. See, you got you to gotta surround yourself with winners. Yeah, because you'll get their mindset. Doctor, he said, you, you like five closest people to you. <laughs> I started looking. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, sex. What? Oh, Lord. I get... You got to go, man. <laughs> I love you, baby, but you got to go. I see a lot of minister to you, though, but I can't take your mindset. I can't take the way you see life and the way you want to handle things. See? Because back in the day, when Kiki used to live, that's my nickname. Street name. Kiki, I'm a bad boy. 
Hey, I, I, I'm going to get you. I mean, hey, hey, it wasn't a uh, true story to show you how your mind can go. I was at work and a guy, you know, he kind of ruffled my fellow a little bit, you know, and before I know it, you know what I'm saying, Kiki has showed up. <laughs> I'm sick, honestly, Kiki showed up. I snatched him up in there and the boy, I took you. I, I, I said, hold up a minute. <laughs> I said, hold up, hold up a minute now, hold up a minute. And I went to the guy, I said, man, look, he, you know, of course, he would have told everybody, hey, is the preacher going to beat me up? <laughs> is the preacher going to beat me up? I said, man, I, I said, let me apologize, man. I said, you know, I said, I should have just overlooked you, you know, I said, but, you know, okay, we good, we good, we good. And he was at fault, by the way, you know what I'm saying? You know, he was at fault because he put his hands on me. You put your hands on me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I will defend. But anyway, but I pulled myself together. And I, went in the, and I went in the bathroom. I'm at work now. I'm going up in the bathroom. God, why you let this happen to me? Oh, I'm telling God in the bathroom. God said, that wasn't me, that was you. <laughs> no, that wasn't me, that was you. That wasn't my mind, that was your mind. You kicky. Oh. So I, I repented, went back out, and begged his partner. See, why? Because I didn't want him to feel a certain way or, you know, you know. It's okay, I can, I can bow down. Ain't no problem with that. I, I fool to be humble. Mm -hmm. Amen, but he, 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 he. <laughs> I almost been the devil, I'm telling you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you know, don't think you, I'm, uh, don't get deep on me now. Yeah. Sometimes some get, you know, some get close to you. You used to be to say a couple words that you forgot you, you knew. But they came out. Where they come from? Uh, gotta get your mind right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's how we created, amen. But we created to win and to be victorious, amen. Hallelujah, amen. See, Jesus always demonstrated a victorious mind. Christ always demonstrated a victorious mind. Listen, in Hebrew 12 and 2, this is what it said. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endures the cross despising the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Even at the point of death, Jesus is still demonstrating a victorious mindset. Because the joy that was set before Jesus was you and I. He saw a drug addict accepting him and changing his life. I talk about me, I don't talk about other people. Amen. Most people ain't free to share what God delivered from or brought them out. Okay, that's you. Me, I'm going to tell the whole story. <laughs> I got, yeah, because I'm free for real now. Uh-oh. Shouldn't have let me get free. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to have a saying when I used to get up, up every morning. I used to say to the devil, say, dog, he up again. He about to help transform somebody's life. His mind is right. <laughs> when his mind used to be tight, y'all said, but try to help y'all. Amen. But Jesus, amen. And, and, and what is so powerful about Jesus being on the cross is that he was hung between two. You know the story? One had a victorious mind and one had the mind of a victim. Let me prove my point then. One said, hey, Jesus, we know about the miracles you've done. We know about the healing you've done. You know, we even know that you raised Lazarus. We know about all this. You come on down. Let us get up off this crawl. But the victim, victim, thinking selfish, thinking only by itself. But the one that had the victorious mind said, look, hey, man, we deserve this. We broke the law. We knew what the consequences were before we done it. Jesus, remember me when you enter into your kingdom. What he told him, from this day on, you'll be with me in paradise. Victorious. <laughs> victorious. Yes. See, your mind said, it's, gonna, it's working for you right now. <laughs> That's uh, I, I go to sleep. I have y'all out with something. Oh, this is going to bless you right here. You know why I don't worry? Because he never sleep or slumber. If he always up, what I'm up for? <laughs> why am I up? He, he already up. And then he told me something. He said, Key, cast your cares on me. Because you can't handle it anyway. You, you, you can't handle it. You're you, you going to make the wrong decision. <laughs> In your flesh or something, you're going to do something wrong. But give it to me. 
I can handle it. That's why I go to sleep. You know why? I'll be able to snore. <laughs> they worry about nothing. Why? Because he got it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's how powerful your mindset is. That's why you got to think like the king. You got to think like Christ. This is this is not religious. Mm, y'all don't get mad at me on this. I ain't talking about you being religious. This is relational. Yeah. This is you spending time with daddy. Yeah. You spend time with him, and then he just showed you, I'm going to bring you out. Have you ever brought anybody else out besides me? Have you ever delivered anybody besides me? You know what I'm saying? See, you should have a testimony because the word say we overcame by the blood and the word of your testimony. It ain't just the blood. You got to say something. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was at work. I was at work one time. <laughs> and this young lady, she was like, you know, uh, uh, you, you're too joyful. you laughing too much. You're too happy. I said, okay, cool, you know. Lorenzo, I said, you understand the story. You, you, you can't, you know, I can't change like that, you know what I'm saying? Two weeks later, I baptized her. Wow. You know why? Because my mind was victorious. I didn't feel, I understood you was going through something. But I'm going to take you to the person that can get you out of it. <laughs> I'm going to lead you to the person that can help you change, yeah. transform, so that you can be a light. See, that's why he called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, so you can show forth praise. That's why the, the enemy want to cut off your praise. You don't want you to talk about the goodness of God. C.C. Uh, Winer got a song uh, called, uh, for my goodness, what is, man, that's my theme music, because he's been so faithful. He's been so good. Boy, I, I tell you, I, it's hard for me to keep the tears back because my mind will go straight into what he's what he done, what he's doing right now. And then it say, your goodness is following me. Got promoted a couple of weeks ago. His goodness, Renzo. <laughs> Brother Elder, amen. <laughs> Alfred, amen. Excuse me, amen. Uh, but his goodness is following me. It's following me. Goodness and mercy is all the way around me. They can't even understand why I'm still standing. But I know why I'm standing. Because he said, I've done all that you could stand in the power of his might. See, I ain't got to carry nothing. I ain't got to prove nothing to nobody. See, because with the world, it's who you are. Who you, who you are. But in God, it's who you in. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Whole different ball game. Victorious lifestyle. Living good. And he's going to bless you. Amen. Yeah, he's going to bless you. Oh, my goodness. He's going to bless you. Time is running. Hold on. <laughs> okay, let's talk about operating out of victorious mindset, trusting God. Now, this is what you got to do if you want to have a victorious mindset. First of all, you must trust God no matter what the situation is. See, you got get to get to a point in your life, no matter what's going on in your life, no matter what situation comes in your life, you still got to trust God. See, because everything that happened in your life, God already knew before you were conceived. So, therefore, he knew that he was going to give you strength. He knew he was going to strengthen you. He knew he was going to put the right people around you to help you be confident and go forward. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I know what I'm talking about. I lost my mom last year. And I thought about it. I was over my brothers and my sister's house. You know, we we know how the family get together. And my little brother, he walked up to me. He said, hey, bro, you want a shot of this? Get a shot of this? So I said, no, nah, bro. I said, what I need that for? So I don't need I ain't going to bring mama back. Mm-mm. Hey, no, 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 no. My mind was still right. <laughs> now, it was at one time, he had called me back in the day when I was lost, hey, man. I would have blew the insurance money and everything. Y'all ain't ready. Yo, nothing high. What you talking about? Stone. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready. So I'm the truth, amen. But because of trusting God, I knew I, I still got to go to him. I'm broken, God. I'm hurt, God. And I, 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 I know you can, you, can, you can strengthen me. You can get my mind right. You will give me a praise when I don't feel like praise. Now get up and give me a glory. See, that's because I trust you. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I'm sorry, I got caught up a little bit there, amen. <laughs> hey! But he's that good. Yeah. See, we really learn to lean on him as a wall. 
What's your plan, God? What's your plan, Jehovah? What's your plan, Jireh? What's your plan, Shalom? That's my plan. Mm, my goodness. All right. Second thing that you must do. You must be willing to be different if need be. See, if you don't have a victorious mind, sometimes you got to be different than the people around you. I remember when I first joined Emmanuel, a friend of mine told me about Doc Rock. You know, we called him Caracas because we was classmates. You know, I knew him as pastor. I knew him as Caracas. You know, he told me how good he was preaching and stuff. You know, I didn't come to the church. Yeah. So we get in the church and stuff. He loses his mind. <laughs> Now he gets me, he has me get to the church, but he loses his mind in the midst. So he confronted me with a situation like this. You done chose Caracas over me. I said, no, nah, brother, that is not, that's not what's going on. He all oh, yeah, it here, yeah, it here. I said, now we've been like this since we were little kids. I said, but I, let me, can I show you what's really going on? He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's Jesus Christ. You're not in the picture. Which part you don't understand? I can explain both of them. Jesus Christ, you're not in the picture. Which part you don't understand? Simple, baby. Why? Because it was all, it's all about God. I, if I got to be different, if I got to cut you off, then you cut. And then about three years later, he called me to do his wedding. Because <laughs> he knew I was 100. But, but you ain't gonna know. Mm -mm. I ain't with none of that foolishness. Oh, let me stop. That's whole not, that's whole not teaching. <laughs> okay, okay. To operate out of Victoria's mindset, see, make the necessary changes to line up your life with the Word of God. You got to make the necessary changes to line your life up with the Word of God. I asked them this in a question in, in, in uh, in, in the jails last Friday, I was teaching a class. I said, I can show you real quickly what you're doing is wrong if you use this example. He said, what example is that? I said, would you take Jesus with you? Would you and Jesus do it together? Uh, will you and Jesus be cussing somebody out? <laughs> huh? Would you and Jesus going to break in the store and rob it? See? It's a simple way. See, would you and Jesus do it together? It's, that's why you get your mind. Oh, my goodness. That's why you get your mind, your mind going. Amen. See, you got to make the necessary changes. If, if it don't lie, I, uh, can I use your pet? Yeah. You, you sure? Okay. Okay. I, I, okay amen. I had to ask for permission. Amen. One time we were talking, and she told me, she said, you so spiritual, you need to be in heaven. <laughs> she said, boy, you, 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 you need to be in heaven. <laughs> you need to be just gone. <laughs> she understand me now because I had, I had a hunger and thirst that I got to do it God way. Yeah, you know, I, yeah, yeah, so I could scrap. I used to be one of the, one of the bad boys that they call when it's time to get bout it. See, you know what I'm saying? But I can't use that now. Can't go out like that now. Now I got to pray. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, 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 yeah. They don't tell me now. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm, I'm still working. I'm still working. I'm still in process. I'm still in process now. But I, but I, but I learned now. Let me pray about this first. Yeah, let me, before I go off. Yeah, yeah, let me, let me pray about it. So that just helped somebody, amen. I, I felt that thing in my spirit. Yeah, that helped somebody. Yeah, before you go off, pray about it. Yeah, because some, some decisions are life-changing. You better listen. Some decisions are life-changing. So you got to get, you get your mind right. Amen, amen, hallelujah, amen. Now, now I'm going to show you how much trust that you have to have in God in order to have this victorious mindset and operate out of it. In Daniel 3 and 6, it said, whoever does not fall down and worship shall that very hour be cast into the midst of the furnace fire. So this she me Meshach and a bad nigga wrong. <laughs> I love saying that, amen. A bit ago, but uh, they was willing to be different. Listen to what they said. If our God whom we serve 
is able to deliver us from the burning furnace, furnace fire, furnace, he will deliver us out of your hand, O king. But if not, let it be known to you, O king, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden image which you have set up. See, they had a victorious mind. I don't care what you decree. You would decree what you want to decree, but if it go against the word of God, I ain't going to be able to do it. Mm -mm. No, don't. No, no. As Doc Rock said, I'm your friend. Listen, don't ask me a question that you don't want me to answer. Not me. Get, get one of the other pastors. Yeah. Don't, don't ask me because I'm, I'm going to give it to you for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to give it to you straight up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I don't know no other way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they say 100, be 100. Everybody talk about, say, keep it 100. Keep it 100. Okay, well, let's keep it 100. Yeah. You ain't singing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's keep that 100. Let's talk about that. See, we don't want, we don't want to talk about that no more. Right. Like that don't exist. But that's what's messing your mind up. Oh. But you got to be willing to, no matter what, line your life up with the word of God. Trust in it. I ain't saying you're perfect, because I sure ain't. Let me give you some information on that. <laughs> My wife will tell you quick. Nah, he ain't perfect. Mm -mm. Nah, he got some faults. Amen. But that don't mean I don't love God. See, I love God. I'm still in process. I'm still working it out. But while I'm working it out, I'm going to get my mind right. I'm going to try my best to see it from God's point of view. Because if I look to the other side, oh, my goodness. <laughs> he come, and remember, I'm a sheep. Back. Back. I'm a sheep. I need a shepherd. I need somebody to lead me. Because if it don't, I'm going straight to the wolf. Parting with the wolf. No, he's sitting there cutting his blade getting ready to eat me up. That's why you don't want to take your life to wolves. You don't want to take your life. Some, some, some people that you know, I mean, you don't want to call them wolves. I'm going to help you out. I'll call them wolves for you. They wolves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had some friends that were wolves. I love them. Yeah. But everything that they do is totally against the God I serve. Right. I love you. I hope you transform. But hey, you are what you are right now. You look just like your decision. You, you can be godly if you choose to, but it's your mind. And you keep on listening to certain things. You know, that's something I, I, I had a, 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 oh, my goodness. Lord have mercy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let me just, uh, uh, <laughs> let's go uh, uh, maintain the victorious mindset. This is how you maintain your victorious mindset. One of my favorite scriptures in the word. This is what it say. It said, casting down imagination in every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Bring every thought, every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. And being readiness to avenge all disobedience when your obedience shall be made full. So you got to bring that thought into obedience to Christ. Because everything that you do and everything that you will do is a thought. You ain't just walking around like a, like what, what's that show, uh, The Living Dead, just a zombie. You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> no, that ain't what's happening. Before you do something, you think about it. I'm uh, um, agreeing with anybody? It comes in your mind. Matter of fact, that's how the devil gets you. He put a mind in your thought. Yeah, he put it in your mind first. That's where he's that's, that's he attacking you at. Because he don't want you to get your mind right. See, because once you, once you get your mind right and realize he ain't got no power over you, when you get your mind right and realize that greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world, oh, when, he, when, when you get your mind right and know that you are more than a conqueror, oh, you'll step out. What you talking about? <laughs> yeah. He, he, he. I remember, y'all won't believe this. But during school... Doc Rock was not the Doc Rock he is today. Man, he wouldn't even talk. I mean, he's real. He was a shy guy. I was the loud one. <laughs> he really, really, really. And to see how bold he is now, I know it's the power of God on his life. Wow. See the transformation. Like, wow. 
You know, wow, I, I was really shocked. Amen. I was like, that was the same guy. The same guy I used to pick up. Hmm. But guess what? When you get your mind right in Christ, you start looking like victory. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, you start looking like 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 victory. I was telling it, I ran so ah, ran so, <laughs> ah, I'm gonna leave it alone. Oh, I was telling my brother, amen. <laughs> I was telling my brother, I said, look, when I got the promotion, man, it was God. Y'all don't understand. When I got the promotion, mom, it was God. And when I walked in, what's my favorite scripture, Pat? Whatsoever. Okay, go on to the Lord. So, when I walked into the building, the first scriptures I saw on the wall was, whatever you do, when it comes to work, do it unto the Lord. I said, I'm at home. Wow. <laughs> wow. I said, I'm at home. See, because God wants to give you victory in what he called you to do. He do have a plan for your life. You do have purpose, amen. Don't never compare yourself to nobody else. I'm not, I'm not Doc Rock. I'm not Pastor Brandon. I'm not Pastor Connors. I'm Pastor Key. And I ain't got to have a title. <laughs> you want to make that clear? Well, I'm just saying, we're all different in what God called us to do. But be comfortable in, 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 in confidence in what God called you to do. She's a teacher. she got teaching skills. She's a great, great auditor skills. She helped me with my <laughs> pronunciation. Thank you, man. You know, she helped me out. Amen. Amen, because sometimes the ghetto experience come out, amen. Yeah, just, just, I, don't, I don't want to say it, but it just show up. You know what I'm saying? Lord of mercy. Good morning. Oh, oh. Father, we bless you. We thank you, Lord God. You got the spirit is subject to the prophet. Uh, we love you. We bless you. We give you all the praise and the glory for tonight, God. Bless the hero of your word, oh God. In Yahshua, I'm sure tonight.